sketch the region of integration R for this particular um, integral. Redescribe R and hence, with that information, evaluate this double integral. Okay, so what we can do for this, we can take the region of integration just from these sort of limits. So x will be between y and 2, and y will be between 0 and 2. So let's just write that down first. So we were asked to sketch it and, and redescribe it. Let's just write it down first. Okay, so y is between 0 and 2, and x is between y and 2. So let's sketch the integration, uh, the region of integration. Okay, so we want y between um, 0 and 2. So we're going to have two sort of uh, constant and parallel lines. So one's the axis, the x-axis. We've got the line y equals x in there that will form some sort of boundary. Uh, okay. And then they're going to sort of connect over here. Now, I guess you can... You can look at that region and see two triangles. Which triangle is it? Is it the top one or the bottom one? Well, oh, sorry, is it the, 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 yeah, is it this one or is it this one? Which one is that, is that region referred to? Is it the left one or the right one? Left? Right? Well, right. Let, let, let's go back to this. If I draw some sort of horizontal line, it's got to enter on this point, so that's right, and then leave it at, at, this, at this line. So it's, it is actually this one. Okay? But hang on, I've sort of forgotten something here. Why don't I just... Why don't I just I've, I've done what they've asked me to do. I've sketched the region of integration. Right? Why don't I just, just integrate it? What, like, why, why would I, why can't I just integrate that? Hmm? What's the integral of sine of x squared, like, like so sine of x squared, with, with the in, an indefinite integral, antiderivative, with respect to x? If anyone can give me that in, a, in terms of an elementary function, I'll give you a HD right now. Okay. Uh, have I got any money? Oh, yeah. $40. <laughs> I'm, I'm an academic, so I don't get paid very much. But $40 if you give me the antiderivative of sine of x, sine of x squared in terms of elementary functions. <laughs> going, going, going. Gone. Oh, well, don't feel bad. There, there is no antiderivative in terms of elementary functions. So we cannot do that, that integral, that double integral, as it is, okay? You can't, you can't do the inside integration in terms of elementary functions. You can do it in terms of, say, a, a series, but that's not an elementary function. So what we're going to do is switch these two and, and adjust the limits of integration. Now, if, let's say I switch the dy with the dx. Can I integrate sine of x squared with respect to y? Yeah, you can. It'd be y sine of x squared. Okay? So, the strategy here is to look at what you got. Okay, I can't do it. Let's see if I can flip or reverse the order of integration and see what happens. But I can't just flip those and flip those. I've got to redescribe my region. Okay, so I'm going to draw another picture. of the same, the same um, region here. And I'm going to use a vertical line. 
Okay? So let's re describe. All right. This vertical line enters here and leaves here. So y is going to be between 0 and x. Okay, this is just the line y equals x or x equals y. And we, what, what's the interval for our x? If I just sort of move this either way, the line either way, I can cover the the region just by going between 0 and 2. So there are the bounds on my x. So now what I can do is evaluate this integral by using these upper and lower limits of integration and just let's see what happens. So let's just let this be i. So it's going to be from 0 to 2 on the outside and from 0 to x on the inside. I'm still integrating the same function and I'm swapping the differentials around. So let's do the inside integral first. Integrate sine of x squared with respect to y. Oh, that's just y sine of x squared. How good's that? DX. Substitute in. Now, I've got a reasonably challenging integral to do. What would the, the what's my antiderivative of x sine of x squared? Well, you could use a chain rule if you wanted to, or you just write it down, right? The sine's got to go to a cosine, and so the sine's got to go to a cosine, and then you think, okay, if I differentiate this, that's going to come, sorry, negative, negative cosine. Um, this is going to turn to a 2x, but I've already got an x out there, so what I can do is just multiply by negative a half to adjust it. So just subbing in x equals 2 and x equals 0, I'll get something like this. Now, that's a reasonably challenging question because it asks you to do a lot of things. It asks you to not only sketch the region of integration but re-describe it switch the order of integration, and then actually do the integration. So that's a, that's a challenging, that's a reasonably challenging question.